Man, that Dogecoin just is fluctuating up and down. Don't worry about it. We are still rich. Hello, everyone. This is Stevio, and we are back being rich. Yeah, you heard me. We are wealthy. I am living my dream. I just built my dream hideaway home to stay away, to try to isolate myself, to save some of my money. My dream has always been to own a huge farm, something like uh, if you've seen like Larson's farms, that would be my dream. They are living my dream. You see, I do have one planter and tractor, but the problem is, is that's not enough. It's not even near enough. I need to buy a farm and I don't really, I want to keep my, uh, I want to keep my hideaway little uh, cabin all to myself I don't want to build this into a farm if you see if you check back my video I built this beautiful little hideaway up, up here on a hill in Wisconsin and I don't want this to be full of farm machinery and everything like that because you know farm machinery makes a lot of noise makes a lot of racket I want this to be a nice quiet home where the deer just come right to me and I can just run out to my deer stand the plan is to build the dream to build the dream somebody said I don't have enough toys yeah I think they're right gonna have to uh, update my toy collection here Whew, man what do we drive I think we're gonna drive the high country here oh man I forgot to feed all my dogs so of course, I brought all of my babies with me, so I, I have to feed them. Gotta make sure they're all fed. Yeah, yeah, there's a lot of them. Don't judge me, I'm a huge dog lover. Alright, I think that door will be alright, staying open. Yep, so we built this up into, up in the woods, up on a hill, for primarily because I don't want to always have to deal with, uh, all uh let's just say uh once you get rich everyone that's prying for your money so the dream was to always live in the country keep to myself hopefully as much as i can anyways so i have a huge driveway it's a couple miles long but you know what the scenery doesn't bother me one bit get down over here so i already purchased a huge plot of land oh my goodness I wish I could be in the field right now got a truck coming here down the road that old thing man that's a good looking truck of course we gotta get our lean on here what we got going on over Wow, that is a nice operation right there. Look at that. Yeah, love. Can't wait till I start breaking my own fields and my own land. Man, that's the dream. Oh, there's another farmer. Oh, man. I'm getting jelly. Pretty jelly. Oh, my goodness. Uh, the old Ford is uh, creeping now. Come on, buddy. You can do it. Hey, stay between the lines there. Stay between the lines. You've been drinking? So, this is it. Kind of an aged farmstead here. But we have to modernize this whole area and make it into all the neighbors' envy. Hey, you know what? I'm filthy rich. Why not? Why wouldn't you? So, uh, let's jump in that sky. Start building us a drink. Call you up in the middle of the night. Been bothered by dreams, ain't feeling alright. You give me comfort, say just give it some time. By the end of our talk, I'm feeling just fine. You and I will always know where we belong. This ain't no
was lost, I was lost without any direction. Had a line so many times, but I needed attention. No matter what I say, no matter my regrets, things still been said and done. tried yeah to become better but i thought again if i said it it'll last forever i know i make mistakes it's just the way i am that's why you have to know Couldn't get him off my mind I told him I want that great love Like standing in the middle of a bonfire Don't know how you got there But you hold tight Knowing that you can't get burned Just tell me how we lost track Of everything but each other I honestly don't know And tell me how we messed up Drifting away from each other Didn't want to let you go Everything turned upside down 
I almost lost track of time as weeks went by. I couldn't get him off my mind. So let's see our work in progress here. We built a major, a major bin complex. We got, we have two legs, two dryers. We are set. Yeah, and I did find a Peterbilt. Uh, it's, uh, let's, uh, I think we'll park this truck and we'll drive around a little bit here with the four wheeler. So we got a dairy farm going here, beef cattle, whatever you want to call it. We got uh, right there is our bale bin there, our bale storage. Here's the back of our bin set here. Yeah, we're gonna have to smooth this out a little bit. Like I said, we have two legs, two sets of bins, so two pits, so we'll never, ever have to worry about uh, you know getting too far behind with the harvesters. Uh, we do have this was built on an old dairy farm you kind of saw it here beautiful place here in Marksville Wisconsin there's our beautiful Kenworth there I tried to do I thought I would go a little bit retro here I put an old gas station I kind of just I love the looks of it to be honest uh, it just looks so I don't know nostalgic uh, I put a little uh, hangout area for all the hired hands and everything. This is where we could probably have the morning meetings. I put Minnesota Farmers. He has one of the best shops, I think, uh, made here. We got our planter tractor here. Yeah, we're probably going to have to upgrade this. This is, I want to have a lot of ground, a ton of ground. So, you know, this 16 row planter ain't going to get it done. We got two sprayers here. We The spreader and sprayer here built into our shop. Uh, this is part of our uh, cattle uh, pin here. We do have another uh, cold storage back here, kind of tucked away here in the back. Uh, you guys have to let me know. Did I hit the mark? Did I build? I tried to keep it open because I didn't want it too uh, spread out and everything. I just don't like how them farm yards work, uh, kind of look. Uh, you know, it is nice when you have that type of farm yard because you can uh, park all your equipment, you know, line it all up and everything. But, you know, farmland is so precious, especially this black dirt here in Wisconsin. You know, I think I have it open enough to have it a large farm. Of course, you know, I'll probably need some more cold storage. Maybe I'll span to another farm because, you know, you kind of need that, you know, otherwise you might get some little lag issues going on. You got too much equipment in one farm. But hey, let me know. Did I hit the mark? Did I miss it? And like always, like the video. Thank you all for watching, and I will see you later over here in Richfield. Now the important part, why didn't I build an off-road train park? Oh man, where am I gonna put it? <laughs>